Okay, in today's video, we are going to use Coulomb's law to calculate the electric force on two charges. And this is the situation we have. Your textbook would read something like this. You have two charges. Charge one, Q1, is minus six microcoulombs. Charge one. Charge two is minus 14 microcoulombs. This is charge two. It's a good idea to draw this on your page so you have a kind of a visual. And then you would mark down maybe that the distance between the charges is 10 centimeters. Now, in this problem, we're going to figure out what is the force on charge one from charge two. Now, we're going to use Coulomb's law to calculate the magnitude of the charge, not the direction. We're just going to think for the direction we have a negative charge and a negative charge, like charges repel. So which way is Q1 going to be forced or pushed or pulled? We want to know what is the direction of the force on charge 1 from charge 2. Well, that charge is going to feel a force that is to the left going to be pushed away. They're going to repel each other, which means they're going to move apart. If it's going to move to the left, it has to feel a force to the left, and we would designate that force as F12. F for force, this says 1, 2. This is not 12. This is the force on 1, on charge 1, from charge 2. Okay? So that's how we figure out the direction of the charge. Now we use Coulomb's law, K Q1, Q2 divided by the square of the distance between them, Fe stands for force electric, to calculate the magnitude of the charge. Now we need to remember that K is equal to, is a constant, and it's always equal to 9 times 10 to the, to the ninth, 10 to the ninth, Newton meter squared, Coulomb squared. Okay? After that, it's really just plug the numbers in and go. So we're going to plug the numbers in. K, when it's written out in front here, really goes on the top. So it's K times Q1 times Q2. So we're going to write down 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared Coulomb squared. Now, when we write down the charges, we don't put the signs, whether it's negative or positive. Of course, we wouldn't write it down, really. If it's a positive, we don't put a positive down, typically. But negative, we don't write down negative. We're just figuring out the magnitude. You might think, oh, if I use the positive negatives, it'll tell me the direction. It doesn't work that way. Just put the amount of charge, not the sign. Okay, so this is 6 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. Once again, we're not going to put down minus 14. It's just 14 times 10 to the minus 6. Always put down the positive value. Now you'll notice this is microcoulombs. We have to convert both of these into coulombs because our constant is in coulombs. Pretty easy to do that. 6 microcoulombs is just 6 times 10 to the minus 6. 14 microcoulombs is just 14, not 1.4. 14 times 10 to the minus 6. This symbol mu means micro, which means 10 to the minus 6. If it was nano, it would just be 10 to the minus 9 pico minus 12. Okay, so you didn't really have to do a whole lot of math. I mean, you could do that conversion on a piece of paper, but just stick a 10 to the minus 6 for micro or a 10 to the minus 9 on the back for coulombs, and you'll have your coulombs for micro, okay? Now, the other thing is the distance is squared, but this is in centimeters. The distance has to be in meters. So you're going to have to convert that into meters in 10 centimeters is 0.1 meters squared. Okay? Now, you'll notice we want to calculate a force. We have newtons, meters, coulombs, and coulombs, and meters all over the place. We want to get rid of everything. We want everything to get rid of itself except for the newton. So you see we have coulomb and coulomb. That's coulomb squared. Well, these two coulombs will cancel with this coulomb squared. This meter squared, because this is squared, is going to meter squared also. So this meter squared, which is down here, 
is going to cancel with this meter squared. Okay, so all you do is you multiply this number times this number times this number, and then you have to divide it by the square of the distance. Even though you cancel the meter squared, this squared is for the unit and the value, so you still have to can't multiply the point 0.1 by itself or square the point 0.1. So it's 1, 2, 3 multiplied divided by point 0.1 squared. And you should come out with 75.6 newtons. And we already said earlier, that's just the magnitude. We didn't put the signs, the negative signs in. We just take the positive values. This is the magnitude of the force. We considered the direction earlier by just thinking about whether we had like charges or opposite charges. In this case, the force on one from two is to the left. Okay? Now, it is also true that charge number two feels an equal but opposite force. So the force on charge two is 75.6 newtons also, but the direction of that force is to the right. Okay, and this problem we were asked to find, what's the direction of the magnitude of the force on charge one from charge two? Okay, so I think that's really pretty straightforward. Once you have the values, and the equation and the constant, just plug everything in, do the math, convert these to coulombs, square the distance, and don't put negative and positive signs in for the charges. Just use the positive values. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, you can give me a thumbs up or a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And we will see you in the next video.